Rest in peace.
I'm Sweet girl, Jack. You can't spell it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're not getting alcohol. I'm going to feed. I'm going to feed. Yeah, 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 I'm going to feed. Good Saber, come be happy. Come on. 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 I'm gonna like it because it's going there. There, no problem. There, no problem. I want to step in. Strawberry, go sit down. Please. Go on, go sit down. Go on, go sit down. Yes, before the pastor come and the film story and then we want to make it. All right? That's all okay? Yeah. Uh, all right. Turn on your AC. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Here, here, here. I'm going to get the the yeah. Oh, I'm Oh, yeah. 
from dead and trying of me to wonder why it should be why it should be all the day long while there are others while there are living about us Never molested. Never molested. No in their own. Father along. Father along. Knows all about. Father along. Father along. We understand why. Brothers and sisters, we live in the sunshine. We'll understand. We'll understand it all by and by. When that has come, when that has come, take another love one. It leave our own, it our own soul. lonely and chill. Then do we wonder? Then do we wonder? Why others prosper? Why others prosper? Living so wicked. Living so wicked. Year after year. Master, a few more days to labor and wait. A few more days to labor and wait. Trials of the road, trials of the road. Then seems as nothing. Then seems as nothing. As we see true, as we see true, the beautiful gift. Father along, Father along, we know all about it. Father along, Father along, we understand why. Understand why. Show your father. Live in the sunshine. We'll understand. Jesus, when we see Jesus coming in glory, coming in glory, when He comes from, when He comes from, His home in the sky, then we shall meet Him, then we shall meet Him in that bright mansion. We'll understand it. Understand. Understand. Oh, oh, one more time, sing out that. Call.
We come to give Maxine what Maxine deserves. She's not, she's not seeing it, she's not hearing it, but her children and grandchildren and family are here. I don't want to just do the thing like we really mean to do it. So yes. if I please the bottom of this man in our chicken or season up yet, I don't want to wobble about it. No problem. You can go. But I need reverence yes. and attention and come like you really mean to come. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. Sweet hour of prayer. Sweet hour of prayer that called me from this world of fear and beats me at my father's throne. May God my one. God. Hallelujah. As we reverence our hearts to pray to God. Because in everything we do, we must put God at the forefront or else we would have already failed. Hallelujah. So even though unprepared I am as a soldier of the cross, I will lift high the royal banner to which Maxine was very cognizant. I have no right to say what she and what she did not. But I know that she loved the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So let us just reverence our hearts as we pray. Almighty God, the everlasting Father, God who has been before time began, you continue to be God today and you will be God through eternity. You are most holy you are righteous you are loving you are caring you're a tender god you are faithful 
And as a result, this, after, this morning, mighty God, we come into your presence and we ask, mighty God, that you come by here. Stop by here for a moment and tabernacle with us as we seek to give you thanks and praise and glory for the life of our dear sister Sandra Maxine Williams that you have given to us. Lord, you have made her, made her a part of our lives in so much positive that I can't even think of a negative right right now. Lord God, the loving, cheerful, laughing, joke-giving soul that you gave to us. Lord, we thank you. You told us that in everything we must give thanks. And even in death, we give you thanks. Because only you knew what she was going through. Oh God, we could only imagine and empathize. But you, who would have been moved by the feelings of our infirmity, when you were bruised and abused and taken to Calvary, you know what she was going through. And you decide. No man, no doctor, nobody could decide when she would be going but you Lord decide that enough is enough and you allow your angels to take charge and to take her home to sweet rest mighty God we give you thanks Lord God we thank you and with all the pandemic and everything that is happening people would have found it in their hearts yeah. to come to reverence this morning Lord we thank you for the grateful hearts Lord we thank you for the sincere hearts Lord God we thank you for Sam Balat and Tobias oh God who would want to come to see what and see how in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I pray, holy God, that you will make curiosity into something this afternoon, this, this morning, that will bring somebody to the point to realize and understand that death is not subjected to any one person or a class of person. But your word tells us that it was appointed unto us once to die. But after death, there comes a judgment. Mighty God, I pray this morning that you will have compassion and pity on her children, her grandchildren. Mighty God, I pray that you speak to their hearts. Father God, I pray for not riches. I don't pray for any boastfulness. I pray for salvation for their souls. That someday, oh God, it will be possible uh, should Maxine make it in, it will be possible for them to reunite in the farther along. Father, I pray for a unity in the family that has never been. I have I am praying this morning for a love. I am praying for compassion for one another. I am praying, Holy God, that you will allow one to help the other. And you will build them as a force to be reckoned with. I pray that you cancel sin and every negative being out of their lives and out of their minds. I pray, Spirit of the living God, that you will take up residence here in Rosemary Close. Uh, God, in Maxine room, in Maxine house, in Maxine yard, and Maxine and the foundation. Mighty God, and you will break out a revival in the children and the grandchildren, the nieces, nephews, cousins, and other relatives. I pray, Holy God, for a Holy Ghost anointing upon them that will transform and make a difference, a wholly positive difference in their lives. Give them mind to speak peace, to speak love, and to speak oneness in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Everything this up this morning that will be said, Lord, Lord God, I pray that it will be said and done to the glory and the honor of your name and with respect for Miss Max. Lord, tabernacle with us, I pray, and let your will be done. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Bless the Lord. Amen. Bless the Lord. Praise the Lord. This morning we are here with mixed feelings. Because I know some Maxine gone. But we cannot Lord thy purpose see. But all is well that's done by thee, God. So we just have to mourn and get back to life. The children mourn, the friend mourn, the relatives mourn. Everybody are mourn. And we just know so I think that. For the deal with Maxi. We'll now go to the program again no, as we no. have the first lesson, which will be taken from Ecclesiastic 3, 1 through to 8 by Rihanna West Cousin. Rihanna, Rihanna here. Let us be attentive, best way we can. 
The scripture reading. Go ahead, now go ahead. The scripture reading is taken from Ecclesiastes 3 verses 1 to 8. And it reads, To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up. A time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to get and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to cast away. A time to rent, a, a time to sow, a time to keep silence and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate, a time to war and a time of peace. This is the word of God and we honor it by saying, Persons, please be attentive this side. Please, please be attentive this side. If you are not here for the local service, omit yourself. We'll now call on teach with the children. Come teach, come teach, come teach. She's in the white. Come, clap her, she come. And listen, this morning, you can't call upon sudden, because girl can't come sudden. Mm -hmm. Any slack no feel, people there. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Um, to the bereaved family, my condolences. You are free to mourn. Because Christ did mourn when one of his passed away. And Maxine is our friend, a mother, and she's a grandmother. So she was a person who's always smiling, always loved to give jokes. But I will grace her funeral service today with a verse of a song and just a chorus as time is at hand. Yeah. Why should I feel? This courage, and why should the shadows come? Why should my heart be lonely in long for heaven and home? When Jesus is my portion, he's a constant friend in need. God's eye, it's on the sorrow. And I Oh, I sing because I'm happy, and I sing because I am free, for his eye, it is on the sparrow. Watches over me. Be encouraged today and take strength and know that Jesus watches over you. God bless you. I Jesus. sin because I'm happy. I We'll be taken from 1 Thessalonians 4, verse 32 to 18. This will be done by Ashika Williams, please. 
First Thessalonians 4, verse 13 to 18. But I would not have you be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that ye sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even them also we sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall be descended from heaven without a shout, with the voice of a archangel, and with the trump of the Lord of the God, and the dead in the Christ shall first rise. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and we shall, and so, and so shall we be with the Lord. For wherefore comfort another with these words repeating a lot of any verse of the on first verse 4 13, 18 wherefore comfort one another wish these words we are handed the reading of the lord thanks be to god amen amen that we love and God to They are borrowed. They are not all at all. Jesus only let me use them to brighten my day. So remind me, Lord, just remind me there, Lord. Somebody probably never hear the words, but they are there. That we love and all dear to us, they are borrowed. They are not ours at all. Jesus only, let me use them to brighten all our days. So remind us, Lord, just remind us. Sing along with me, roll the curtain of memories, now the Oh, my God. 
remind us, Lord. Just remind us, Lord. Just sing that chorus one more time. Roll back the curtain. Now I'm there. We are but humans, and humans forget. Just remind us, Lord. Just remind us. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Bless your name, bless your name, Lord, bless your name. We we'll acknowledge the presence of our daughter now. Peter, Abraham's with the eulogy, the eulogy of our mom. Baby, stand up, you know, stand up. Good afternoon, everyone. We have me, my brother, my sister, and the entire family, all women abroad. Say thanks for being here for us. We text to call. We stop by the house. And thank you all for being here today. It's the OG of my mom. Unto thee I lift up my eyes. O thou dwellest in heaven, behold as the eyes of the servant look unto the hands of their master. And as the eyes of a maiden unto the hand of her mistress, so our eyes wait upon the Lord our God. Until that, he have mercy upon us. The life of Sandra Rosemary Williams. Maxine Stabby, born in Kingston on the 25th of March, 1962. She moved to Newland in 1975, where she spent most of her life there. She began her family with the birth of four children, one now deceased. Anyone know Maxine? Know her? for her hard work and I faced him out. But a person who is willing to help anyone in the time of trouble as long as she could. In 2011, after the passing of her second child, things took a change for her. She wasn't, she wasn't the person she was, but she tried her best to be great to people in any way she could. In 2018, her health wasn't the best anymore. She'd been in and out of the hospital, but she was the joy of the home same way. Sometimes she make us laugh, cry, and even get miserable, but she was the same Maxine. Her biggest problem is she always wants to have money in her possession. So as anyone sees her and asks, how are you doing Maxine? She would quickly respond by saying, why I'm they are broke and hungry <laughs> in return to get her money from that person. On Sunday, December the 6th, 2020, she left us not feeling sick or anything, but just left us in the blink of an eye. But the Lord knows best. Sleep in peace, Maxine. Sleep on. She left to mourn her three children, Pinterest, Susu, and Debbie, her seven grandchildren and her two great grandchildren her adopted daughter Angela, and dear friend, Beth. Brother and sister, nieces, nephews, and a whole lot, a whole, a whole host of relatives and friends. Mommy. Auntie. Auntie, come over this one. Mommy. 
He has left your baby. He was not grown up yet as a man. So, so. But be strong, my brothers. Be strong, my aunts. Be strong, my cousins. She, you know she couldn't bear it no longer. So she has to go. Mommy, we love you all. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> Bless God. Bless God. Bless God. Bless God. You let you well read. Well said. Short and spicy, hot and spicy. The pastor said he'll be here by 12. So we still have some more time for God's show, right? So we're going to have some open tributes, some well wishers. Okay? And people say she first. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, girls and boys. Oh, my God. Heaven, sound is sweeter all the time. My Lord, it seems like lately. Maxine will always on our mind, but someday she leave this world behind. Cause heaven sound is sweeter all the time. It's so hard. Lose the loved one to the grave. Oh, yeah. But when you ask God to give you strength to rise again, yeah, yeah. He shall wipe all the stage up from your eyes. So we will meet Maxine. The land beyond the sky. Thank you, Jesus. Bless. Oh, God. Them say short and spice, so you have to let it go. <laughs> Try. Try. Someone God knows how we are going. And that's open to the place. It will be hard and we'll mourn. And the road is muddy and rough. But we are going. Heaven knows how we are going. We know we will. For it will be all that we we'll know. And the road is muddy and rough. But we are going. Heaven knows how we are going. We know we will. Praise the Lord. Worship the Lord, man. Worship the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord, for one more day. Thank you, Lord, to answer my prayer when I pray. Whoa! 
Lord, Lord, I thank you. God bless God. The persons who smoke in the cigarette and the weed, please go further with that thing. I can be nice and I can be nice. You know, I am a person who will very sharply. No smoking and no weed thing. So. Go further with it. Have some respect, man. I acknowledge yourself for serve God. No. No. We're going to hand over to the man of God. Reverend Robert Wakefield. Welcome as he come. Welcome as he come. Reverend Robert Wakefield. Good afternoon, everyone. Shall we praise the Lord? Shall we praise the Lord? Amen. Let me just offer my condolences to the bereaved family. And I pray that you will have the strength that Jesus gives. In the midst of life, the Bible said, we are in debt. And debt is an appointment unto man wants to keep 
would I pray God this afternoon for the bereaved family that you will draw strength from Jesus Christ. I want to remind us of a portion in the word of God. In Genesis, where the Bible tells us that in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And when we look at Genesis, we realize that Genesis is the beginning of all things. It is the beginning of creation. It is the beginning of man. Where the Bible tells us that out of the dust of the ground, God made man. And that is what I want to <clears throat> elaborate on for a short while. That man, no matter how we look, no matter the clothes we wear, no matter the possession we might have, man of dust. Can you praise the Lord? Can you praise the Lord? Hallelujah. The Bible tells us that out of the dust of the ground, God made man. Whether you are groaning, whether you're black, whether you're white, or whether you're yellow, no matter what complexion you are, man of dust. Shall we praise the, Lord? praise the Lord? And the Bible said that out of the dust of the ground, God created man. And because God created man out of the dust of the ground, dust we are and dust we must return. Shall we praise the Lord? Praise the Lord. Shall we praise the, Lord? praise the Lord? So it doesn't matter how we look, somebody. Hallelujah. Man is nothing. But I am here to tell us this afternoon that the Bible tells us that even though it is an appointment unto man once to die, but before we reach that point, the Bible said we must seek the Lord. While the blood is running warm in your vein, you better get salvation down in your heart. While the blood is running warm in the vein, because there is no repentance in the grave. Shall we praise the Lord? Shall we praise the Lord? I have not known this lady, Maxine Sandra Williams, but if she had not accepted Jesus Christ when she was alive and well, there's nothing that we can do for her right now. Is that amen, somebody? Amen. Is that amen? amen? Amen. Today, the Bible said, is the day of salvation. If you hear his voice, harden not your heart. Hallelujah. Because man must die. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, somebody. Praise the Lord, somebody. I always get emotional at funeral. Why? Because... When a person died, there is no repentance again. But today, while you're standing here, you have the opportunity to bow your heads and to say, yes, Lord, I bow my knees to your will and to your ways. Just lift your hands and give God praise, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm going to ask you one more question. Do you believe in God? Raise your hand. Hallelujah. Do you believe that you need Jesus in your life? Raise your hand, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Before you reach this state, hallelujah, you need to have Jesus before you reach this position. Praise God. And we can only accept Jesus Christ when the blood is running warm in your vein. Man of dust, out of the dust of the ground we were taken and out of the dust of the ground we must return shall we praise the lord again somebody shall we praise the lord hallelujah it is your chance it is your opportunity to say yes to jesus christ bow your heads with me everyone please
Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we give you praise and glory. We acknowledge you as King of Kings and Lord of Lords. We acknowledge, Lord, that there is none like you. And as we gather here this afternoon in this fashion, in this sad occasion, Lord, to lay to rest the remain of our sister and mother and friend, Sandra Williams. Lord, I pray for the bereaved family right now that you will rest your hands on them. Lord God Almighty, that they will understand. Lord God Almighty, that your word said, if a man die, shall he live again. We will all live again, Lord God Almighty, after death. Because the Bible tells us that we shall stand one day before the judgment of God. Lord, I pray that you will bless everyone who have heard your word. Lord God Almighty, as we give you glory, honor, and praise. We thank you, Lord, for the support of the family. Lord, that has been given by the families and friends. We give you glory, we give you honor, and we give you praise. And we tell you thanks in Jesus' name. And we all say, Amen. 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 Let me say hands of those who would like to accept Jesus as Lord and Savior. <laughs> One person. Are you serious, madam? All the time. Amen. Is there anybody else? All right. If you have said yes, I'm going to ask you to bow your heads and just repeat this prayer after me. Just say, Dear God, I come to you in the name of Jesus. I ask you to forgive me of my sins. I confess. I repent. I turn from my wicked ways. I now accept Jesus as my Lord and Savior. Thank you for saving me. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. And amen. Amen. God bless you. All right, we will. We're going to ask the, the Paul Bearers to please come. Can we get another chorus before we go? And we are going to ask the Paul Bearers to get yourself ready. Paul Bearers, draw near. And if Paul can be a Peter, come. So we're going to sing the, 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 the closing in on the program and to heaven. Sing the wondrous love of Jesus. Sing his mercies and his grace. In the mansion bright and blessed, he'll prepare for us a place. When we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that will be. When we all see Jesus, we will sing and show the victory. Oh, the come back right to me. While we walk the pilgrim party. Clouds will overspread the sky, but when traveling days are over, another shot, another sigh. When we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that we will sing. Let us, let us be
Go in stop light and follow the lead. You proceed stop light way, follow the lead to medals. All right. When we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that will be. When we all see Jesus, we On behalf of the family, thank you all for coming. If you do well, let's see what you want. Up in a walk, walk, walk. Good man.